Good morning, if you want to call it that. It's Tuesday, August 10th. I'm hot and tired. I did not sleep well last night. I had, even though I had the ceiling fan on, full blast, and I brought this fan in. This was, was in my old bedroom, and then the other one I have, I brought back in the office a little while ago. Brought that in here, and that was on the other side. Had it both going full blast. Didn't do a darn thing helping me cool down. Because when I went to bed, it was like 91. Right now, it, when I looked, got up, it was 87 in the house. And um, like I said, I could not fall asleep. Last night was too hot. I wished I got in the room yesterday but like I said if I called today you know I would have came home this morning and called and I probably I don't know when you know he will be coming um I checked at midnight because I couldn't sleep <laughs> to see if the money was in there yet and it wasn't and I started to panic a little bit and I'm like, I don't care. I have enough in the checking account as it is. I can write the check you know, when they come. And, you know, when that money finally comes in, I, it, will, it will reimburse me. So I'm like, I don't care. And then I'm like, I'm getting, if it, I'm getting a hotel room later if, you know, if he doesn't come today to fix it. I'm getting a room. Because I can't take another minute of this. And I just checked to see what time the place opens so I can call. And of course, they don't open till 9 o'clock. So, I gotta wait another couple hours to call. And hopefully get in today. I'm kind of not hoping, holding my breath, but you never know. And hopefully it's early enough. And I'm like, and I, you know, last week I said, I'm staying home the whole week. I'm not going out. <laughs> yeah, yesterday blew that out the window. It was like, and probably today, because if he comes today and, you know, fixes the leak and puts the Freon in there, I'm not going to wait in the house all day while that's running, because I'll have, probably have a panic attack. Not panic attack, I'll probably be worrying that, it's running on, it's running too much, it's running too much. And plus being so hot in the house, I'll probably go out for a little bit. So it cools down a little bit. But we'll see. I already got my bag. I had it on the floor, I brought it on the um, bed. Because I packed like two days worth, I threw two days worth of clothes in there Sunday. So I have a little bit of clothes in there, but I'm like, Last night I'm thinking what to pack and I go to, if I have to go to a, a hotel and for how long and, and stuff and like, ugh, it's just, I'm miserable. <laughs> um, I did, I had the TV on for a bit and I did fall asleep a little bit, um, on and off, but yeah, and the, I think around four o'clock, I got up, checked the phone, looked and saw that the money was in there pending. I'm like, yay. And then I had a washcloth that I rinsed in cold water that I had on me the whole night. I started out with like an ice pack with me. You know, I had a towel right there for the ice pack and I was watching a movie on Netflix. And then once the ice melted with that, I brought and put it back in the freezer. And then the rest of the night I had, was using the washcloth. Not that it did anything, but yeah. And I had my bottle of, my thing of water. Yeah. And drank that throughout the night. But yeah, I am miserable. Nine o'clock cannot come soon enough. So, that's my wonderful morning, evening and morning. Um, see you guys later, hopefully. 
So I made it to Suncoast. I got here real quick. I think I was ready by 10. And um, yeah. And thankfully I was able to check in and get a room early. I didn't have to check my bag and do whatever for a couple of, for a few hours. I am so hot. <laughs> um, the only it's on the fourth floor and it's like way down like almost the other side of a hallway where the elevators are but at least I got a room and it's a nice one so I'll give you a little room tour mirror I look like a hot mess all icky <laughs> um, closet bathroom the sinks shower the bed the TV um, the drawers and in here the safe and the refrigerator I thought they would have a microwave but I was wrong when I looked up looked on the website to see what the amenities were because I know one hotel I've been to has a, had a microwave a couple of them. I think it was Main. <coughs> excuse me, Main Street Station. And my desk with the little coffee maker, and I was gonna bring a Keurig. <laughs> I was gonna bring coffee, and I forgot. I didn't know if it was like this or Keurig. But anyway, coffee maker, a little seat, couch, coffee table. This is a nice setup and my view which is not a great view because that's what i'm looking at the back of the front of the entrance where it says sun coast it's over there um, you can see down i don't know if you can see but i can see red rock casino from down there and then those are condos and up on the tippy tippy top is pet houses I'm gonna relax a little bit, maybe jump in the shower to get all this ickiness off me for a little yesterday. Um, of course, I did. I only brought one extra shirt with me for tomorrow, so I'll have to throw this one on. I mean, it's clean. <laughs> but yeah, and I might lay down for you know a few minutes and maybe take a nap, and then like around noon or so I'll go to chase and and stuff so yeah that's it for right now see you guys later so it's about 5 30 it's almost 5 30 and i went to the bank i left here around maybe a little bit after 11 and it cost as much from here to chase bank it cost the same amount as it did from going to my house to here for some strange reason and it's not that far to to the bank from here it's maybe not even a mile it's like a block or so and I could have well I don't know if I would have walked I maybe I could have but it's hot out and smoky and I was dead tired and hot and sweaty and I didn't want to deal with that so I took a lift and then I went to the bank and there was like nobody there. I was in and out of there like less than a minute, it seemed like. And of course, you know, spending all that money to go here, to go to the bank, I'm like, I'm going somewhere else. Um, so I walked to Target, but I went to Ross first and looked around. There were a lot of people there. <laughs> Well, it wasn't jam-packed, but there were a lot of shoppers there. Didn't find anything there. I was dead tired. <laughs> um, I was kind of looking for another shirt to wear. But, um, so I left there, and then I went to Target. And, I, again, I was looking at their sh shirts and stuff. I didn't see anything I liked. Um, like the t-shirts, and it wasn't, the t-shirts weren't on sale. But, um, I got... Two of these snapples, cause I'm thirsty. 
and I got, I, I was like starving. <laughs> so I got these favorite day monster cookies with pecans. And I got, I needed a hairbrush. I left it at the house. <laughs> so I got this one, it's a little travel one. And this one sucker was a pricey, it was like $4. For that and um, so that's all I got surprisingly I did look around did look around but again I was tired <laughs> and hungry and people were driving me crazy because of that um, so I did use my gift card that I got from Target one time from buying something I think it was the Tide Tide Pods you buy two you get a five dollar gift card and I keep forgetting I have have it and I finally used it, so it only cost me like $30 for everything. So that was good. And then I went to, I, I didn't feel like walking across the parking lot to um, Jersey Mike's or anywhere food-wise. So I, they have a little pizza hut at Target. So I got a little, a, you know, a little pizza. And, uh, and then I went to Starbucks and got a Starbucks. I tried the new, the, um, the funnel, strawberry funnel cake thing, Frappuccino. Um, and I was drinking that while waiting for my, my Lyft ride to go back, which cost the same amount of money. <laughs> And I finished that by the time he got there. And it was okay. The drink was okay. It, the strawberry parade, parade tasted a little weird to me. But, um, and they listed, they had a whole bunch listed of what they were out of at that Starbucks. Um, I remember last time I was there, it wasn't that many things that they were out of. But the, the list got longer. So... I know I was half out of it because <laughs> um, going there, I had, um, um, no, when I was coming to the room, when I first checked in, in the elevator, they have a slot thing where you have to, if you're on floors four and up, you had to put your hotel key in there so it can go. And I put the stupid key in wrong and everything. Luckily, somebody was there with me, and he used his key. I was like, Ugh. And I did try to take a nap when I first got in the room, but I couldn't fall asleep. Um, that's why. That's when I left. But um, I came back and ate and watched TV. It was nice watching Friends on um, TBS. And I worked on the diamond painting a little bit. And then I did lay down around three. And I think I took about an hour and a half hour nap, which was much needed. So I was just relaxing and I'm like, I should go down and get something for dinner. But I didn't want to feel like going anywhere. <laughs> but I'm going to do that. And then probably come back up and relax some more. I miss watching TV. Well, I have TV, but it's all the streaming stuff. I miss the cable. <laughs> so it's nice um, with that. And yeah, that's what's been going on. Nothing too exciting. Just resting, cooling off. I was actually getting chilly in here. Because the vent's right there. And when I was working on the diamond painting, it, you know, it was over there. And I did raise the temperature because it was 69 in here, which I thought, like, yeah, that's wonderful. But then I, knowing that the air was going to hit me, I raised it up to 73. And um, I was fine, but I was starting to get a little chilly in here. <laughs> so... I didn't bring any jeans, so anyway, I'm rambling, so I'll end it here, and uh, see you guys later. So, the guy was here, and he didn't do anything. 
because there was a when he was getting ready to put the freon in he noticed there was a copper wire that was next to the tubing um, that somehow got moved i don't know probably from somebody else i don't know and when the air conditioning comes on that copper wire rubs against the tubing and that's what caused you know from the vibration and that's what caused the crack in that tube and that's not under the warranty and they had put a claim in or something with the American Home Shield to see if they could, if I, I could be denied or not if they can come fix it under the warranty and I got the email from American Home Shield and I contacted them. I just got off the phone. I am so upset. That <laughs> was tonight. Because it wasn't normal wear and tear. It was, that wire was moved. I don't know. And I was like, what if it was moved by another company? Somebody else did it, which was probably the case. And it's still denied. And I'm like, I can't afford it without the warranty. <laughs> I spent five years taking care of my parents when they were sick. And with COVID, you know, I get them out of the job. And he was so unsympathetic. <laughs> he's like, well, you can go somewhere else. And I'm like, I can't afford anything. <laughs> I don't know what to do. It's already 90 degrees in here. <laughs> Why aren't they here? <laughs> Why aren't they here to help? <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the bank for freaking nothing. <laughs> Cause he even said the guy that was here, he said that they can do it, but the Freon will cost way more than the price was that they quoted me before because that was under the warranty. And now it's not going to be. I don't know what 